Hello, welcome to Orphan Espresso. I'm Doug. I'm Barb. And we're here with the brand new uh, Olympia Express Cremita. Uh, uh, it's this is we call it the model 2011. Uh, they still refer to this as the 2002 model. Um, they in this uh, video, I'm going to show how to change the piston seals on the Cremita. Um, we've already discussed uh, uh, cleaning and lubricating uh, the group and now we're just going to cover changing the piston seals which is very simple on these newer machines you don't have to remove the pins you don't have to change the the, the, the nut settings or anything like that it can be done from below all right you want to let the cat in or, or are we just going to well you'll get over it you'll get over it okay now once you have taken the group off, as I showed in the previous video, by removing these four cap nuts, you have the group in your hand, you've removed the screen, you've possibly destroyed the, the, the beautiful orange silicone uh, gasket. Uh, you have a replacement gasket in hand. Uh, this is very simply done uh, by removing the bolt on the face of the piston. This is a four millimeter. Okay. You simply use a four millimeter hex. You turn it counterclockwise. It's held in place all by itself. Okay, counterclockwise. Out that comes. All right, this short bolt. The short nut. Now. Screw. Yeah, it's a little screw. These holes. I just take this thing, you see, it's just sitting there all by itself. What okay. did you just do? I just pushed the... Oh, you just, just lifted the... Yeah, I just lifted the piston back. Okay. And it's now it's all by itself. You can just reach in here and pull it out. And here comes the piston. There it is. Very nice. It's pretty sweet the way that, that this works. Now you see up in here, this is what you've got left up there. There's the there's a rod. There's the upper seal. Right? You can see there's some of the the there that's the factory lubricant up at the very top. And some that we've added. We'll go ahead and wipe off this extra stuff. Okay, clean that out a little bit and set that aside. Now, here's the, we're going to change the piston seals. And in this situation, it is, as I said, it's very simple. Now, remember, this is the way it sits. All right, this is the bottom, that's the top. You simply get in, you take your probe tool, be careful not to scratch through into the race of the... Right. And you get under it. Get under the edge of it. See? I'm under the seal. Not poked through the seal. You get up on top. Ow! Jeez, that's... That hurt. All right. And you get up on top. not to poke holes in yourself. Not to poke holes in yourself. And there it comes. There's the seal. I noticed that you poked into the hole of the piston. Right. So that you didn't scratch it. Right. This can be aided by heating it up. You can drop this thing into a into some hot water. And it makes the seal a little more flexible. Alright. I haven't... There I have. See? I damaged that seal. Well, the reason you're changing the seals is because it's leaking anyway. So, yes. yeah, you know, this is one of those things. So you're taking off the old ones in that manner. As I said, hot water will, will be a bit of an improvement. Generally not recommended to use a sharp knife to cut them because you no. can cut the brass. No, or you can cut yourself make, even worse than I just did. And make leaky okay. spots in your skin or your so. machine. And you, you take the second seal off in the same manner. And as I said, if you soak them in hot water, it makes them a little more flexible. All 
right? Now, when you when you put a new seal on, you take some some Dow 111 and you put it down in the in the race. You're turning the piston as you do that. Just right. I'm just just getting going some, all the way around it. Yeah, and you can put quite a bit in there. It's it, this doesn't foul the it doesn't foul the the seal or anything like that. Let me wipe my blood off. I'm sorry. This helps uh, seat the seal um, as well as it seals the back of it. So I just make sure I get some some goop down in there. And you take the new seal. Which way does it go? It goes, see this is down. Right? Mm -hmm. The top seal, the, the U-cup side points up. So it's the top one is up, up and the bottom one is down. Bottom is down. You know, I wish I'd have gotten some hot water to do this because these seals are pretty stiff. And you just there. Okay. Now, you see how it's kind of cup weird? Yeah. That's part of why I put the lubricant on that because I want it to be able to slide. I either use my fingers, see that? I'm just pushing that into, into place. Just pushing it into the race. Right. Into the groove. See that? <laughs> Please don't. Okay. See how that looks now? Mm-hmm. Right, you can, or you can take a tool, take the back corner of this, all right? and you push it down and make sure that leading edge is all the way seated. But it basically it's in the race. Now, um, what you do now, you take your group, now that you've got it out, you might as well give it a Good lubrication all the way up to the top. Wipe it around on the sides. Right. Just a thin coat. There's a glob up there, so I spread that one around. Okay, so there's our thin coat of lubrication. Now, we take also and we put lubricant here in on the shoulder. Not down in the in the groove, but just along the shoulder. So it's nicely lubricated. See this is the factory stuff that's up there in that top one. Alright. We just take it and we set it in place. Now just like I'm gonna go ahead and run that down, the piston all the way up. Now you you have to shoehorn this in. I use the back corner of this. See that edge? See what I'm doing? I'm making sure that edge uh, yeah. enters. Just, just kind of easing it into the right. spot. It's like using a shoehorn. Making sure that it's all the way in. I'm just using this back corner of this tool. Any blunt tool. Oop, and there it went. Okay. This one, generally, you can just push it down in. It's the first one that you have to worry about. It's the first one you have to shoehorn. You have to get the leading edge in. Right. You have to get the leading edge in to make sure you don't tear it. Now, I have, once again, see the piston just move, the, the rod moves away from that? Mm-hmm. Okay, you haven't changed your, your setting here. You haven't changed these nuts, so it's in the right position. All right. Now, you take, to finish the installation, you take the small screw, and can you see this, Barb? See that white stuff? Yes. That's thread locker. That's thread lock that they put on that. It's to 
keep it from from screwing out. You can clean that the old stuff off with a wire brush if you like. A uh, little Dremel brush. It'll pick off with see it's just that's just dried out thread lock. This is a classic. You know, almost all the European countries they don't use they don't use lock washers. They use thread lock. So you clean that all off? Right. Clean that out. Wipe it off. And at this point you've got lubricant on your hands and things are nice and slippery. But you've lubricated the cylinder, you've put on a new seal, you've lubricated the, the, the seals. Now you take this and you do need to put thread lock. Just a little band of it. Just a little bit right there. You take this and you find your four millimeter right there. Tighten it up. Tighten it up. That's right. Because it's all held in place here with the pins. Now you check, make sure everything feels nice and smooth. I really do like changing seals just on this piston without having to take the whole rod apart. You know, it's a really a nice feature. Then you come in with your screen. And you can either put the seal on the screen or put the screen on and then add the seal. As you can see it's tight along this edge. Push it down and get it started. You're just pushing it into the... Right, just pushing it into the, into the groove. that way. Once again, no basket, go to portafilter and seat the seal with the portafilter. So that's nicely held in place. Then I go ahead and as before I put in my top as a guide. Not too tight because you do want to add the. Whoops, sorry, Barb. That's what happens when you get a close up. You do want to add the. Close. Time for your close up. As I say, with this this particular tool, is is it? It's far preferable over the the standard hex. It can be done with the hex, but it just it's it requires more patience. And <laughs> what up? <laughs> <laughs> As I said, this is a brand new machine, and and I think maybe over in Switzerland they might have gotten a few bloody knuckles when they were doing this themselves. <laughs> it's pretty ironic. Here, let me show you how to do this. <laughs> well, I suppose that's why you... S I think it's funny that when you do this, you tend to cut yourself, and when I do these things, I don't. I never, I never cut myself except when you're filming. I know. I think I do it just to get a, a PG-13 rating out of it. That you know? could be. That could be. <laughs> More ticket sales that way. Okay. That is a nice cushy seal that they put on this. One, two, three, four. You then wipe off the lubricant that you've tracked all over everything necessarily you can get some cleaner and clean off the blood okay you won't necessarily cut yourself you just be careful 
and don't get in a hurry. Don't get in a hurry. And and as I said, the simplest thing to do it's it's going to aid you a lot if you take the both the seal or the the and just put them in in hot tap water, you know, for for just warm them up for a few minutes. Warm them up. It's a lot easier to use, and you can avoid these kind of things that happen. And plus the the <coughs> the damaging of that seal was. Uh, that's a little unexcusable on my part uh, as well. And, and had I put that and taken the time to put it in hot water, I wouldn't have had that issue. But uh, that's basically, that's uh, maintenance and seal replacement, uh, piston seal replacement for the Cremina. Uh, it's something that this type of maintenance is something that really we'd highly recommend you, you, you both realize you're going to need to do and learn how to do. Uh, as you After saw, you've done it a time or two, it's not difficult at all. Right, as you, you saw, that, that it's very helpful to have the right tool for this job. It can be done with just a regular hex. Uh, if, you, if you get a set, you get both the, f the four and the five and some other little parts in there that you might need. But uh, that's the, the, the seal replacement. If you need to do it, uh, if you, our feeling is that if you lubricate, if you clean and lubricate the seals, uh, they're going to last a very, very long time and you're not going to need to get in there and change the seal. But if you should, as you see, the, 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 the design is such that it makes it simple to do without the complete invasive job of the entire machine. So there you have it. That's, uh, that's piston seal changing. Uh, on the uh, on the new uh, Olympia machine, uh, there's very little other maintenance that that one needs to do besides surface cleaning, and so big maintenance issue and a piston seal change, and we hope that this helps if you ever need this information.